back to speak for yourself. We got to head to New England, where the Patriots are now two and three after losing to the Broncos Sunday. New England is struggling, while Tom Brady's Bucks, well, they're four and two and coming off a blowout win against the Packers. At this point last year with Brady, the Patriots led the NFL in scoring at nearly 32 points per game. But right now, they're a measly 25th. Mm. Bucky Brooks is back with us, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, Marcellus, yes, sir. Are Belichick's struggles proof that Brady deserves a credit for Patriots dynasty? No, it's not proof at all because huh. Tom Brady left because he knew that the Patriots were sorry and that they were going to struggle. So now I ain't going to give you no points for that. You already told us what it is. And then Cam Newton came in and made us reassess our expectations of this team. Cam Newton comes in with no offseason and takes a, a team in perception that's bad and makes them look good. And then all of a sudden, some issues occur, obviously, the COVID and the fact that he was the only starting quarterback that wasn't allowed to play because of his COVID test coming back positive. And then we're sitting there like, oh, y'all not as good as we thought you were, which Cam Newton actually cleaned up to make us think that in the first place. And what we're witnessing now may be a regression to the mean, what the Patriots really are. That's why Tom Brady left. All that said... It's too early in this divorce proceeding to talk about who's winning. Like, they still going through the process. And already we talking about, girl, did you see him out? You see who he was with? Oh, no, you see that last win? Oh, like, right now it is too early to make the score on who's going to win this. And trust me, because of longevity, Belichick's going to ultimately win this, even if Tom Brady has early success. So, no. Tom Brady told us already when he left New England that New England wasn't supposed to be good. I'm not putting that and giving them credit for it. Big that. bro, I think you way, way off on this one, uh, but you happened to, happen to do that a lot. <laughs> um, the Patriots were two and three. When was the last time they were two and three? Let me check. My 2000. 2001. When oh, Tom Brady damn. came in to save the day, replacing Drew Bledsoe, and they go to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady's record in 2001. 11 and 3. Yes, the Patriots go 19 seasons and they are now 2 and 3 again. What is happening? Tom Brady is not there. There are two decades worth of a sample size to show you that when Tom Brady is not at the helm, the Patriots are 2 and 3. Tom Brady's at the helm for 19 years. Nine Super Bowls, six Super Bowl victories. Mm. Tom Brady departs, mm. the Patriots are once again two and three. This is the easiest question we'll have all day, which by the end of this segment, you will be convinced. The only other thing, Marcellus, which makes this abundantly clear that Tom Brady deserves more credit. In NFL history, we have not seen a perfect offensive game. I say perfect to say this. Yeah. The oh. Bucks had a game with no sacks, no offensive penalties, and no turnovers. That hasn't happened for the Bucks in their history. Tom Brady comes in at quarterback, and they play a game with no sacks, no offensive penalties, no offensive turnovers. Two of those three categories are explicitly because of Tom Brady. Mm. Tom Brady's the only person who touches the ball every single time. For those two primary reasons, it's clear as day that Tom Brady actually should deserve more credit than Bill Belichick as it stands right now. I mean, I like that. I mean, Tom Brady deserves some credit. I mean, he was the quarterback. He was the starting quarterback on the team that was coached by Bill Belichick, who also has those six rings. And mm. I've also seen Bill Belichick take Matt Castle and go 11-5 and five with the team that Tom Brady was on and got hurt, and they continue to win. Mm. Now, here's what we'll say, because it's so early in the season. The New England Patriots are 2-3. and three. They are transitioning from a team that was a pass-first team to being a run-first team. They are transitioning to learning how to play with Cam Newton. Oh, by the way, they had a COVID <laughs> issue that prevented them from getting on the practice field. But no excuses. Right now, they're a sub-500 team. The one area that is really hurting them is not really the offense. The defense hasn't played the way that they normally have played. And even though they had a great effort against the Denver Broncos where they held them to six field goals, it's still not playing the championship-level defense. But as we know from the Patriots, the Patriots will typically figure it out near the end of the season. And the way that division is going with the Buffalo Bills coming back to the pack, the Miami Dolphins sitting at 3-3, three and three, the New England Patriots are going to be there. And so we can dance on their grave and act like, oh, the, the Wicked Witch is dead. But the Patriots will be there in the end. And oh, by the way, I think what Tom Brady did to the Bucks is he basically took the Patriot way and show them how to be disciplined and detailed, and maybe that's why they're winning. So maybe he took the notes that he got from Bill Wait Belichick in those meetings and Wait passed them over second. to Bruce Arians, Wait and that's why they
they had that perfect game Bucky, that you were talking about Bucky, with the zero penalties and all that. Bucky, I think Maybe. you just dug your own grave because, oh, Bucky, if, if the Patriot way can get on a plane and, and travel, See, if the Patriot oh, way can get on a mm. plane and travel to Tampa Bay, then maybe it was the Tom Brady way and the Patriot way just sounded better because the <laughs> New England Patriots, Bucky Brooks, clearly weren't mm. as disciplined last game. Definitely not with the football. I can promise you that. Oh, the New England yeah. Patriots, from a penalty uh, perspective, weren't mm. as disciplined last game. So... Uh, me Maybe, just maybe, Bucky Brooks, if the Patriot way traveled to Tampa Bay, then maybe it was the Brady way. Uh, maybe, maybe the Brady way had a refresher course in the Patriot way after that Thursday night game when he couldn't remember how many downs, how many downs he had. <laughs> no, at the I end don't of the remember game. that. Because I never, I never saw him, I never saw him have that issue in New England. Maybe because he always got tips and reminders from the greatest coach in sports who would tell him, hey. I remember it's fourth down. Let's make sure we take mm, care of the ball mm. and do all those things. And so, because <laughs> Otto, you played for you played for a great coach in college, Mac Brown, and I'm sure you took a lot of copious notes. And those notes you probably use to this day. You refer to them when you have big lifetime decisions. I'm sure Tom Brady has 20 notebooks from all the years of learning and sitting at the knee of Bill Belichick that he has been able to learn how to play winning football. And he took some of those things with his buddy, Rob Gronkowski, and they probably spread the gospel to the masses mm. down in Tampa. And maybe that is why they've been successful because this team won some games last year with Jameis Winston. So I don't know if it's really that big of a difference. I just wow. seen them win a little more because they're taking care of the ball. But I mean, I don't know. Jameis Winston had them winning games at, at some point too. Yeah, you know what? I, you should have stopped listening to Acho when he makes that, that fatal flaw. Everyone always says that he's the only one that touches the ball every play. Yes. No, he ain't. Yes. Center does too, damn it. You don't give the center <laughs> credit, the center get credit. Oh, because he ain't running with the ball. Tom Brady's not either. Look, it, I hate these conversations because it always is laced with, oh, well, in New England, they didn't have much talent and it was Tom Brady and it was all principles and the way that they were coached and that's the only reason they won. No. Under the first layer of Bill Belichick being the greatest coach of all time and Tom Brady being a GOAT is a layer of talent that gets dismissed too easily in this conversation. And I'm going to highlight it. 17 first-team All-Pros Tom Brady played with in New England. That's a lot, y'all. And then he goes to a situation where he see that, once again, it's talent-laden, which are the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, when you have that talent in New England, all you need is someone who's standing there in the fork in the road and all those decisions that happen multiple times in every ball game, and someone to tell you what to do in those moments. That's who Bill Belichick was. Now, Bill Belichick... Was. Emphasis on the word yeah, was. to Tom Brady, because Tom Brady left. But that osmosis occurs, and Tom Brady starts to understand, oh, in these fork in the road moments, I can now be the messenger in these moments of which direction to go. So he takes that same mindset that he adopted and learned from Bill Belichick and takes it to another talent-laden place called the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who's winning this divorce? As I said before, it's too early. But if you really force me to say who's winning it, it's the guy who's going to ultimately win it. It's Bill Belichick. It's ne First off, Marcellus, it's never too early to judge who's winning a divorce or a breakup, okay? Really? I'm the messy dude that's like, oh, yeah, they just went on a date. You ain't seen it? Too early. Okay, she nice just, with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's not early. Okay, I'm messy, okay? Call me immature. <laughs> call me messy. I'm showing my hand. But let me just really quickly say this. The Bucks are 4-2 and two for the first time in a decade. Unless you believe that it is coincidence that the Bucks have their best record for the first time in a decade with Tom Brady at the helm, I believe that Tom Brady is a very large contributing factor. The Patriots are 2-3 and three for the first time in two decades. Unless you believe it is coincidence that the Patriots are 2-3 and three for the first time since before starting Tom Brady, I believe that Tom Brady played more of a factor than William Bill Belichick. <laughs> but lastly, I have to say this, because so many people, like I have done, and Bucky, you made the error of doing, Ooh. point to Matt Castle's record without Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Matt Castle was 10-5, and five, uh, Bill Belichick's record without Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Matt Castle started that year, was 10-5 and five when Tom Brady was out with an injury. Tom Brady averages 12.2 wins a year. Matt Castle won 10 games that season. So Matt Castle quite literally won 14% less than Tom Brady still did. Bill Belichick still won 14% less than Tom Brady still did. So if you just want to attribute that extra 14%, so be it. All I'm going to say is this. Tom Brady clearly did more, and we are seeing that in front of our eyes play out.
Okay, I appreciate you nerding out and using all those numbers and statistics. Got a little lost. You know, I'm more of a communications type. I'm a literary arts type dude. But that's okay, <laughs> because since you like numbers, I got numbers for you. Oh. Since Tom Brady has been so great down in Tampa, I'm looking at his passer rating with his 15th in the National Football League. His completion rating is 22nd in the National Football League. His passer pass yards per attempt is 17th. So, I mean, bro, like, he's throwing touchdown passes, but I would say the success that they're having is very similar to the success that he had very early in New England when that defense led the mm. way, just like they led the way in 2001, 2003, 2004, when the Patriots hosted Lombardi Trophy. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are really winning because Todd Bowles and that defense has it going. No and that's what we saw in that game. No disagreement. Mm, Tom Brady's a surfer. He just knows how to ride waves. He rode the damn waves of the defense in New England and that special teams. Don't forget about how good they were in the third unit. And now all of that success all around in Tampa Bay. Tom Brady's the cherry on top, but he also knows how to ride those waves. Coming up in our big story, the Cowboys only have two wins, but they're still on top in the NFC East. Yuck. We'll tell you if they'll actually win the division. Next, speak for yourself.